We had a great story with Donovan Mitchell and Ben Simmons. Another phenomenal story in the association is with a man named Andre Ingram, who plays for the Los Angeles Lakers. Well, at least he played yesterday. Right. Previously, he played for the Lakers' as G League, formerly D League affiliate. And here's what his exit meeting looked like with the team. Um, every year he's leading the league in three-point percentage. Last year he shot 55% from three. This year he shot 48, still kept the uh, league lead. Thank you also for, I know we're supposed to meet tomorrow, yeah. um, but we had to move the exit meeting up to today because uh, the LA Lakers want to call you up <laughs> and sign you for the rest of the season. Wow. Congratulations. Man. Thank you. Welcome I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Thank you, boss. Um, yeah, they, they called me up for the last two games of the season. <laughs> She's screaming, you guys can hear <laughs> His wife is on the phone. I tried bumping up the audio a little bit just so you could hear it. And uh, well, the thing is, when he got the call, here is what uh, the South Bay Lakers put up on Twitter. All smiles, of course, is Andre Ingram. <laughs> When your annual exit interview turns into an NBA call, dream come true. And here's what occurred last night. Uh, spoiler alert, he went off. Him. A deep playoff run. Ingram with e equity as he gets another look. Ingram three. It's Ingram moving inside on Green with a. No. Ingram three. Yes! Dude. That is like <laughs> it's chilling. Next one is already it's the most inspiring story. That's like it's it's almost like last night. If you were able to watch last night's game, you literally watched like Friday Night Lights, but in real life, which yeah. is freaking crazy just to even think about. Like this guy never gave up. Like how are you in the G League for ten years? You got a wife. You got two kids, you're just following a dream, you're 32 years old, your hair is looking like you're 50 or something because it just got all this hey, gray. Hey, hey, it's pretty hey, bad, hey. pretty Andre tough. Andre a silver fox. But listen, Andre is a perfect example of how persistent you have to be if you really believe in something. Like if you really feel passionate about something, that's True. how persistent you have to be. And here's another great part about this, he was presented the game ball Afterwards, take a look. Yeah, yeah. Ten, 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 how long have you been in the DVD? Ten years. Ten years? Yeah. Hell of an open night, man. Yeah. Again, amazing moment. That's exactly how you do it, too, by the way. What's that? Like, he had one big moment. And he like showed out 11.6 minutes. Like he played. 11 his, points in the first six minutes. In the first six 19 minutes. 19 overall. He for the game. played his butt off in the best way. And against like Chris Paul, which is the, the Houston yeah. Rockets did win. And, and uh, are matter. you going to show the clip where uh, uh, Chris Paul talks to him or gives him advice? No, but I actually uh, I do have a tweet that he put up. Well, here's what everyone should know about Andre Ingram. Uh, played 418 D and G League games for 11 years before being signed Jeez. on the Lakers in 2018. I told him I heard about his story. This is Chris Paul, as you were mentioning, and that grind is unbelievable. 10 years grinding in the G League and to finally get an opportunity like that, that's special. So here's the story. His debut, according to the Lakers beat writer Om Young Misik from ESPN LA, his debut felt historic, especially when he started off hot. 19 points, the most by a Laker. This is incredible. The most by a Laker in his first career game since Nick Van Exel in 93. Among Laker debuts since the franchise moved to LA, his performance is only overshadowed by some guy named Magic Johnson and Jerry West, according Fair. to Elias. My God, and here is a little bit further more about how G League players are so underpaid. Darren Ravel put this up, 19000 is what Andre Ingram got paid for the entire G League season. He's getting, getting paid just under 14000 for three days with the Lakers. And Chris Paul's tweet as well, you mentioned Chris Paul, the power and uh, uh, focus, uh, the power of focus and persistence is real. Uh, congrats Andre Ingram on your NBA debut, well deserved is what he put up 
uh, on Twitter. Right. His stats that he has had as well, lastly, he went to American University. Uh, if we could uh, post these very quickly. His points per game, well, they increased every year. 13, 15, 12, yeah. back to 15. He was a good no, he was player. He's definitely getting better. He was definitely age. getting uh, better. And lastly, he, this is what he said on why he wouldn't go abroad, even though I believe he was in uh, Australia for just a very, very short time. This is in 2007. You get more NBA exposure in the G League. That's why I chose it instead of going overseas. I might make more money in one month overseas than in five months here. The monetary incentive isn't that great. It's all about the exposure. He's a guy that went undrafted out of American University and has turned his career into the best G League three-point shooter, D League, G League three-point shooter in the history of the entire league. And for those that aren't familiar with the G League, like these guys are playing in some pretty tough conditions. Yeah. You know, obviously comparing it to the NBA, but they're busing it to every game. They play at local cities. They stay at like. You know, one star hotels just trying to make ends meet, and they play in the smallest gyms. So, this guy's been like playing through like the most rugged edge for, for a player at his caliber, at least, who's been like dedicated and devoted. He's been playing in like these rugged gyms in these kind of like trashy conditions mm -hmm. for over 10 years to finally catch his moment with the Lakers. That's amazing. Like, Dude, and, and he got a bunch of tweets, like a, a bunch of guys, uh, Isaiah Thomas, uh, yeah, a bunch I, of guys just like shouted him out. I have those as well. Uh, here are some of them. Your favorite. Kobe. Yeah. <laughs> that was Kobe. <laughs> I didn't even have to look at it. I knew that. And, and again, this a huge, huge moment because he's from, where? where is Ingram from again? Is he from LA? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I don't remember. Anyway, but he's been playing for uh, the LA South Bay Lakers yes. for a minute. And to get a tweet like that from Kobe along with other NBA players just kind of proves to everybody, especially his friends. Could you imagine, like, man, go, playing every game and your homies are like, yo, dog, but you're still not in the NBA. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, everyone's been bashing him and now he's getting tweets from all these, like, head, like top guys. So it's very deserving, very inspiring. Big moment for Andre.